Hello, thanks for listening to this short broadcast. My name is Miriam and I'm from the Institute of Refrigeration and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the work that the IOR is trying to organize to work on science, technology, engineering, mass and promoting careers in our sector. First, I'm going to look at some of the things that our employers have been telling us. We can't rely on schools and careers ambassadors to promote our industry. We are the ones who care about it. We have to get out there and do it ourselves. If we all train, there'll be a bigger pool of skilled people to recruit from. I challenge you all to make contact with your local school and ask how you can help promote science and careers. So these are quotes from a conference that we had back uh, last year from different employers. So we're all aware of the issues where there aren't enough people coming into our industry and there are not, not enough people going into training to, me, to provide a pool of skilled engineers to go through the sector and work their way up into management roles or training roles. So what can we do? Well, the IOR is working to promote RACHP awareness in the schools and in the colleges. We've come up with three initiatives we think will help to really activate the whole of the industry to get behind us in trying to address this issue. The first thing we're doing is encouraging female um, STEM ambassadors by taking part in something called STEMazing training and that helps them to learn how to do some experiments and run STEM clubs in junior schools. So the Institute's President's Fund this year has put forward three female ambassadors and we hope to put through many more in the future. And once they've done this training, they'll be able to share that with the rest of the network. In addition, we're putting together some resources, a kit bag of actual physical resources that our members can use in schools. So um, I'll go through that in a little in a minute, but it's like really helpful stuff to do some branding and also to conduct some experiments. And then finally, we are developing another section on our Fantastic Fridges website that we'll be, we are calling Cooling the Future. And that's looking at energy efficiency, innovation and how different components work and trying to support those working at 16 plus in T levels and apprenticeships. So looking first at this Fantastic Fridges website, if you haven't seen it, do take a look, fantasticfridges.com. Lots of information there, uh, really targeting younger school kids, talking about science and explaining how refrigeration works. There are different games and interactive things. It's all pretty bright and friendly. So the next section we want to put together and we want your help with is going to be based on advanced practices and cooling the future. We're going to look at slightly more complex topics, calculations, theories and also get some material we hope and videos from you that look at different applications, how components work, some training materials. So this is designed really for the 16-21 age group, so people who are doing one of the two new T-level qualifications or have started out an apprenticeship or really just somebody at school who's studying science and wants to know a bit more. This slide here tells you what's already available on the Institute website and the new section that we're hoping to develop, which will look at the science of energy efficiency, some of those math calculations behind it, what's being done to make fridges more efficient, and how we hope to cool in the future with looking at case studies of innovation, and then of course some tools and games and quizzes. This is the kind of topics we want to cover in the new section. We're looking for you to share information from your clients, from your customers, from your own sites that are interesting, useful. We'll be doing some interviews. We'll be doing some little presentations on some of these basics um, and trying to get some interactive stuff on there so that people can try out the calculations and quizzes um, and really get people in, the, the young people involved in what's going on. The other initiative I mentioned was STEMazing. So that provides professional training for people to um, develop a STEM club exercise in a junior school. Three new members started in March. We uh, had, that's our first tranche of funding. If we get more funding from donations to an Institute's President's Fund, we'll be able to roll that out to even more people. These are the STEMazing graduates that are currently going through the training or have completed it. And uh, these are our members who will be helping to promote this more widely. Some of them you've already seen promoting this and some in the future. 
And then the third area of work that we're getting together on is a kit bag of resources. So that's so that um, people who do become registered with the National STEM Ambassador Program have some refrigeration equipment to take in. Uh, the STEM program tends to encourage people to do general science and engineering with kids, but nothing is available at the moment which really looks at cooling processes, refrigeration and air conditioning and how that works. So we want to get together a package of materials that members who are STEM ambassador registers can take around. And hopefully those will be kept regionally, either through the branches or through a network of STEM ambassadors, and they can be shared with other people. So this is what we're drawing together. books guidance notes, certificates, some simple things like hand warmers or hand boilers, t-shirts, things that you can use uh, and stands and, and um, handouts, things that you can use to really engage with uh, young people on refrigeration. We also want to have some examples of experiments that work really well. So we're inviting anybody who's currently a STEM ambassador who has experience of working with kids on science subjects to come up with some examples of experiments that could be used. So here's one that we put together as a template, you know, using popping balloons to talk about um, heat to transfer and things like that. So um, you can have a look at that one um, and also some extension activities, really to give people more confidence to go into schools and talk about these topics. If you're not currently a STEM ambassador, it's a pretty easy thing to do. You go to the STEM ambassador website, you will provide a lot of information, they'll do all those background checks for you, and then they will help to match you with a whole database of schools who are looking for people to come in and talk about their experience in engineering, um, going to careers fairs, events, clubs, and talking about careers as well. Uh, now, we have a lot of information about that on the Institute website. The last few years we've developed a load of guidance notes so we have information about how to work with schools information about how to become a stem ambassador um, information about our website and how you can use that to engage with schools we have a video all about careers and information about taking young people on work placements which is a great recruitment tool so go to that careers um, page on the institute website download everything you need if you're interested in going further on this these are our current STEM ambassadors. So these are the people you want to speak to if you're interested in getting involved in STEM. If you know any of these people or I can put them in touch with you, they'll tell you a little bit about what it's like, and what you can get out of taking part in these events. And you'll see them also often on LinkedIn and Twitter telling you about their experiences. Uh, and there are also places where you can go to um, put together your own exper experiments and then you can write those up and share with other members as well. So final word then, um, why is the Institute putting effort into STEM and science? We want to improve awareness of careers in our sector. It's a really important priority for us for the next few years. And we want to have an investment in the future of our industry. Also, we know our members are really interested in this topic. Members are enthusiastic about careers, enthusiastic about science and refrigeration, and they have a lot of knowledge and expertise to share. So we want to really get the mechanisms there to help them do that. And then finally, you know, there's a lot of STEM um, programs out there, a lot of engineering initiatives, but there are none focusing on refrigeration on our expert area. So the IOR is the right place to pull together the resources of our members, to pull together the ideas of people who experience this area and really maximize the impact for the future of the whole industry. So I hope that's given you an idea of what the Institute's doing. I hope it has encouraged you to get more involved and to take that advice from our members of challenging you to go out there, put your name down, contact your local school and really get out and start talking about refrigeration careers to young people. So if anything you've uh, heard about there in the presentation, you think, oh, well, I might be able to help with that. Please get in touch with me. Miriam at the Institute of Refrigeration. You can contact me through the website and uh, we'd like to hear about what you want to do and then we'd like to support you in doing that. Thanks very much for joining.